Hello, my name is Alexandra Oremus, and thank you for attending my artist presentation. I grew up in Orange County, California, in a city called Laguna Niguel. I have always lived near the ocean, and it has become a peaceful place. I have always had a strong passion for nature and animals of all kinds as well. I started off attending UNF in 2014, majoring in coastal biology while minoring in painting, drawing, printmaking. I switched about three and a half years in over completely to painting. I later found a way to combine my interests and plan to graduate UNF in the spring of 2020 with a Bachelor of Arts in Interdisciplinary Studies with the theme title of Biological Art. I started selling my tropical and ocean themed landscapes at the Jacksonville Beach Art Walk in 2016. After about three years of selling my work off to the side, I was able to quit my waitressing job and continue my career as a full-time artist. My main source of inspiration is surfing in the ocean. I was able to experience the power of the Pacific Ocean firsthand while growing up in Southern California. The ocean is my peaceful place, as salt water contains powerful clearing and cleansing properties. It has taught me patience, persistence, and has strengthened my connection and respect for Mother Nature. One of my most important lessons I learned while surfing some of the biggest waves of my life in Puerto Rico was that doing the thing that scares you the most will be the thing that sets you free. This lesson has allowed me to fully embrace the somewhat financially unstable yet highly fulfilling life as a full-time artist. My passion for surfing later led me to the surfboard shaping class at UNF. I took the class the first time as a student and the second time as a teacher's assistant. I learned how to shape, design, and finish three rideable surfboards. Another source of inspiration for my art is nature of all kinds. High school trips to Costa Rica and Belize awakened my interest in the rainforest. I fell in love with the tropics and I was inspired by the colorful diversity of wildlife that existed in the rainforest. This ecosystem immediately felt like home to me. Vanessa May is one of my artist inspirations. She creates large ocean landscapes employing a combination of different mediums, layering paint, paint washes, and different textures. I'm inspired by how she captures the power of the waves during storms and against rocky coastlines. Another artist that has inspired me along the way is Spencer Reynolds. He captures the power of the waves from an original perspective using bold lines and saturated color schemes. He also includes imaginative patterns and designs, creating vast and open compositions. My painting career at UNF has resulted in many ocean-related bodies of work. I started off painting waves from a first perspective throughout the first three semesters. I enjoyed recreating pictures of waves and tropical scenery that inspired me. I then moved on to painting different perspectives of the ocean in my following semesters. I began painting aerial views of coastlines using various wash techniques like Vanessa May. I proceeded to paint underwater scenery as well. I created a scene that I later called my original underwater space. One of the concepts that is prominent in my work is the idea of organized chaos. Organized chaos can be found everywhere in nature. For example, I see a very disorganized but somewhat regular pattern in the twisting of tree bark and in the placement of stars. I was also intrigued by the web-like pattern created by sea foam along a rocky coastline and in light as it refracts along the sea floor. This empty underwater space became the main focus of my work throughout my last few semesters at UNF. This scene later defined the foundation of my artist statement. Part of it reads, I want to create underwater spaces that the viewer can visually swim into, providing them with a place that they can briefly suspend themselves in the moment. Light streams across the surface of the ocean and scatters across the seafloor, creating patterns of organized chaos that can soothe a chaotic mind. I later began experimenting with this scene and started filling it with different rock formations, plants, and animals. I have completed multiple commissions where I put together different reef combinations, the shark being the prominent subject matter so far. I also experimented with different perspectives and started dividing the landscapes into half underwater and half above water scenes. 
Later, I began to think about my work more deeply in conceptual terms, and my landscapes literally got deeper. I began to, I began to paint deeper and darker caves. My artist statement follows. I want to challenge the viewers to seek out what lies hidden in the bottom of the deepest, darkest caves of their subconscious. Only those that return back to the surface from those dark places can be truly liberated. This body of work will encourage viewers to look within to find the thing that scares them the most. After all, facing that fear will be the thing that sets them free. Here is the progress of one of my cave paintings from the current body of work. I started this one off with a warm underpainting and continued by layering cool colors on top. I have also been experimenting with different mediums like epoxy resin and acrylic pouring. A section of my current body of work focuses on aerial views of the ocean, inspired by flying over tropical reefs. This is an acrylic wash on canvas that I covered with a few layers of epoxy resin, both pigmented and plain epoxy. I have also been interested in a technique called acrylic pouring where I can combine acrylic paint with a few different mediums to make it pourable. I'll combine the colors in different ways onto the canvas to get a variety of different patterns. I started making aerial view of coastline pours as well, manipulating the mediums and swiping white on top of the pour to create a sea foam pattern. My final two pieces in my current body of work were created during the coronavirus quarantine and they both have a tropical dreamlike theme. Restrictions on travel have inspired me to paint these scenes, almost taking me on many mental vacations. I started building my own canvases as well for these larger paintings, and these are both 3 by 5 feet, some of my largest paintings so far. After graduation, I plan to continue my career working as a full-time artist. I plan to continue to sell my art, and will do private commission work like this sunset piece you see here. Eventually, I'm going to go back to California where I grew up to establish my art presence there. I also want to continue on to graduate school for painting so that I can one day become a college art professor. This concludes my portfolio virtual artist presentation. Thank you all for watching and have a good rest of your day.